How to use Zero Accounting Software Tutorial for Beginners. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be creating a tutorial on how to use Zero Accounting Software. Zero is a powerful cloud-based accounting platform designed to help businesses manage their financial transactions, track expenses, and streamline their accounting process. So whether you're a small business owner or a freelancer, Zero provides a user-friendly interface and your boss features to simplify your accounting task. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will walk you through the basics of setting up and using Zero accounting software. We'll cover topics such as creating your Zero account, connecting your bank accounts, entering transactions, generating financial reports, and more. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding and foundation in using Zero to efficiently manage your business finance. One of the key benefits of Zero is its cloud-based nature, which allows you to access your accounting data from anywhere at any time, whether you're in the office, on the go, or working remotely. Zero ensures that your financial information is always up to date and readily available. We'll guide you through the process of navigating the Zero dashboard, setting up your organization details, adding contacts, and recording transactions. Additionally, we'll show you how to generate and interpret financial reports that provide valuable insights into your business financial health. So, let's get started. Now, right now, I am currently in Zero.com. Now, if you want to learn more information about Zero, Aside from the information I have said earlier, you can simply visit their website and look through the different information posted on their website over here. As you can see, there are a lot of information that would be useful for you, such as their plans over here. But for later, when we provide our tutorial, we're going to go and use Zero for free over here, which is like a trial version. But like I said earlier, if you would like to learn more information about Zero, you could go to their website over here. Now, before we create our account, we're first going to check out the different features that are that are available in Zero. The different features are by clicking this, we will be able to see our features. The different features are you will be able to pay your bills, claim expenses, have some bank connections, accept payments, track projects, pay runs have some bank reconciliation, and manage zero contracts over here. Let's check out all the different features if we missed any, so we're going to open it on a new tab. Over here, this is the same thing we have read earlier. The extra one are manage zero contacts, capture data, have some files, check out your reporting, check out your inventory, send some invoices to people, have some multi-currency, purchase orders, quotes, sales tax, analytics, accounting dashboard, manage fixed assets, and integrate different apps to help you with your experience with Zero. The purpose of apps is to add more features or to add some extra things to use in your Zero application to be able to help you boost your experience and be able to use the accounting software to the fullest potential. Now going back to the home page over here, we're first going to check out. The next thing we're going to check out is the plan. So we're going to click on plan so that we will see what the different plans are, are available for the Zero accounting software. As you can see here, these are the different plans. For the starter, you will need to pay $25 per month. For the standard, you will start with $40 per month. And for the premium version, you will start with $54 per month. The most popular plan right now is the standard version as you can see here. Now what are the difference between these three different plans? As you can see here on the starter version, you will be able to send at least 20 invoice and quotes over here. You could enter 5 bills, you could reconciliate with transactions, and capture bills, recipients, have short term cash flow and business snapshots, but you would not be able to use multiple currencies. and you will not be able to use bulk reconciliation transactions. Although there are optional additional add-ons over here, you could choose this and add them to your plan, but you would need to pay like $4, $7, and you could also try for free some other features over here. 
for the most popular plan which is the $40 you wouldn't have any limit on your invoices and quotes the same thing with your bills you will be able to send as many bills as you want and you will be able to use bulk reconciliation transactions now for the payment version this will allow you to use all the different features without any limitations all of the features as you can see here you won't have any accessory here you will be able to use multiple currencies as well that depending on what you would like to use zero for if some of the features are applicable for starter you should buy the starter if some of the features that you would need is applicable for the standard then buy the standard and the same thing with the premium if ever you need the premium now let's get started to create our account now to be able to create your first account your free account you're going to click on try zero for free over here and you will be redirected to this section over here you're first going to enter your first name last name email phone and then your location and then you're going to click on i am not a robot and agree to the terms and services now after entering your information you will be able to receive an email on your inbox on your email that you have added into the sign up page now after creating your account and logging in this is what you're going to see you're then going to add your first business into your zero account now the first thing you're going to have to add is your business name we're going to go with coffee world as our business name over here you're going to choose the industry right now we could select from list you could choose from all of these different industries over here depending on what your business is about for now we're going to go with accommodation and food and services you could choose your country over here your time zone and your currency over here you could also enter the last day of your financial year and answer yes or no for that do you have employees for now we're going to go with it's just me and go with i am not a robot then you're going to start free trial if you would like or if you have done the trial for zero and if you like the features the different ui and how it feels you can simply go and start and buy your plan to be able to use and utilize all the different features available in zero now we're going to go and check out all the different things we could do with zero as you can see here on our dashboard you could see your cash flow in this section you will be able to see visibility you will be able to see how long or you get paid faster with online invoices over here you could track where your money is going you could track time and cost on your job you could track your pay on pay your bills on time stay on top of your taxes and explore apps that connect zero as you can see there is no data being displayed right now because we haven't added any data yet we haven't connected our bank we haven't connected our cards and we have not provided zero with any information about our financial status but once you give but once you have given zero the financial status or financial information it requires you will be able to monitor and see all the different features that we are seeing right now now this is the dashboard you will be able to edit this as well you, you can disable and enable certain widgets that you would like to see for example we could disable this too save changes and now we will not be able to see those two widgets anymore now we could also check out the business section over here you will be able to check out the analytics which is short term cash flow and business snapchat over here you could create you could create invoices quotes sales of review bills to pay purchase orders purchase of review expense claim product and services and pay run over here we're going to check out the invoice because invoice is what we all know and what we need to do to create an invoice as you can see this is the invoice section you could create an invoice by clicking this button over here you could also create a new credit note, send statement, import, export, and have some reminders over here. You will be able to see all the invoice that you have created in the all section. You could also see the drop section, awaiting approval, awaiting payment, the paid invoices, and repeating invoice over here. To create an invoice, you can simply click the button over here. And now we will be re redirected to the invoice section over here. This is how you will be able to create your invoice. You could choose whom to send this with, the issue date, the due date, the invoice number, reference, online payments. You could set up your online payments over here. The currency, the amounts are over here, tax exclusive, tax inclusive, or no tax over here. You could enter the item over here, description, quantity, price, account, and tax rate and amount over here. And then after this, you can simply approve and email this to whomever you are trying to send this invoice to. 
you can also add another get link or print this as a pdf that is how you will be able to create an invoice in zero you can also check out the accounting section over here you can check out your bank accounts your reports advanced reports over here sales tax reports charts and fixed assets over here you can also check out the different applications to be used with Zero by clicking this button over here, the three by three dots over here on the top right, and you will be able to see all the different apps that are recommended for you or available for you to use on your Zero application. And that's it guys, that's how you could use Zero as a beginner. It is very easy to use, very quick, and there is no complicated way to use this website. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.